What's going on guys, it's your boy Chili, bringing you another LEGO review. This time, we are doing the 1989 Batwing. It's in the 18 plus category. It's set number 76161, and it's got 2,363 pieces. This thing is absolutely awesome. I, if you watched my last video on the Tumblr, you'll see that I actually bought this one first. And then I regret it not getting the tumbler. So I went back and bought the tumbler. But this thing is just as good as the tumbler, if not better. It was just, I, I like the Christian Bell Batman movies. I love, I mean, I grew up on these. So nostalgia factor on the 1989 Bat, Batmobile and Batwing and the Batman movies in general. It's going to give it more of like a nod up to where I love them. But the Christian Bell, Heath Ledger, Joker... Like, those Batmans were just amazing. So, but anyway, so I've got this as well. I Again, I do love it. It's really nice box art. I kind of wish they would have done the whole full moon thing. But if you're watching this, you saw my thumbnail. And that's how I set my thumbnail up. With the full moon scene. With the bat wing flying into it. So it looks like the bat symbol. But anyway, let's get into this box more. So it's got the 18 plus style box work. So, you know, you got the black border all the way around. You do have the bat wing in the middle from the top view. And then you've got like some like aura around it, like some yellow light. Down here in the bottom left corner, you're going to have the Lego logo with all the information of the set. The right hand corner, you're going to have the the older Batman symbol with the DC logo in the top left corner. You're going to have the set name, which is the 1989 Batwing and nothing in the right hand corner. Moving on to the bottom of the box, you're going to have that. This is a 2020 Lego set. So a couple years old now, but still really cool set. And then the Lego.com backslash DC superheroes, where you can go up there and find all these sets this side of the box you're gonna have the again the older batman symbol at the top and also a lego logo if you can see that and then you've got like the michael keaton batman silhouette here the other side of the box is really nothing at all well actually it's nothing because i have it folded to close it so you're gonna have the different names and are the names and name of the set if i can speak correctly in different languages there and then you're going to have your components and the choking hazard there so nothing too exciting on this side unless you can read those languages which i i can't i just ex assume they say 1989 batwing and then at the top you're going to have the price i paid for it and you're also going to have a nice view of the bat wing from the front or well, I guess catacornered and then the actual size of that little piece that I believe is the piece on the cockpit in the front, I think with the Batman logo in the top right corner and the Lego logo in the top left, the back of the box, you're going to have another view of the bat wing, which it looks absolutely insane. Top right corner, you're going to have the Lego logo. And top, if I said right, I meant top left. Top right corner, you're going to have the old school Batman symbol up there. Nothing else on the top, as you can see. And then down here, you're going to see that it can be mounted on the wall. I have not done it yet, but I want to just to make some space. <laughs> I'm starting to run out of room for, for Lego. And then you're going to see that on its stand, it does stand... 23 centimeters tall or nine inches and it's 50 centimeters long or 19.68 inches then you're going to see it there on its stand and then you've got your minifigures there which are the michael keaton batman i think they call that the boombox guy i think is what they call him and then the joker and his little courthouse attire there if you've seen the movie then you know the scene i'm talking about but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the box. I have already opened and built this, so that's all ready to go. And now you'll get a nice view of my, my blinds there while I get the instruction book ready for you. 
So instruction book, pretty much the same as like the tumblers was. You get the or the front of the box or the tumblers. You get view of the bat wing on the front with the the set name with the black outline or the bat black background like you do on like all 18 plus sets the back of this one as i hit my camera is going to have the batman symbol the old school and it does have this texture here that looks like it might be like part of the bat suit or something i can't really tell but that's what it kind of looks like opening up the instruction manual you're gonna have your brick separator and then it goes like pretty much into the the bags there and then you get your information on it so it's a little weird but you've got if the forces of evil should rise again to cast a shadow on the heart of the city call me letter from batman to the citizens of gotham city then you've got that iconic scene there with the lego batman in the moon or the lego batman lego bat wing in the full moon to make like the bat symbol and then going on, you get more information on the Batwing. Pause if you want to read it. More information. And stuff about the designer. More stuff there. More information on the Batwing and the design process of it. Then you get into the graphic designer and information about her. Then you get that Michael Keaton silhouette again with the quote, I'm Batman. So, you know, nice little instruction manual. And then it shows the 1989 Batmobile next to the 1989 Batwing, which I don't have that set. And I really, really want it. I think it looks awesome. So I need to get my hands on that. Then you get some like comic book illustration work with more um information on the batwing and you get ready for takeoff there some more information again you can pause all this and read it and then it goes into actually building the base of the batwing and the michael keaton batman and as far as the bat goes you get you know the same stuff you get your inventory count you're going to get the feedback and win. You're going to get how to hang it on the wall. So it gives you like step by step in different languages and giant menacing supernatural form, kind of like a bat. Lieutenant Max Urquhart. Or, Eck yeah, Eckert. And then there you go. Finishing up on page number 356 with building the gargoyles and putting them together. So, all in all, it's going to have, what? Well, that's the stand. You know, guys, I don't count this stuff. I count putting the last piece on the bat wing itself. And that's page five, or instruction number 547. And page number 332 with putting that little piece on the front there. And then you get into the stand as well and building Joker. He's like the last figure you built. You build but anyway, guys, I'm going to get the Batwing set up and the minifigure set up, and I will see you when All I get right back. Guys, and I am back. As you can probably tell, this thing is massive. So probably going to move it out of the way for a second to do these uh, minifigures here so that it doesn't really uh, get in the way and I knock it down and break it. That's pretty much as out of the way as I can get it without it being off the table. And I don't really want to pick it up and move it too many times. Don't want to, you know, accidentally drop it, break it, you know, whatever. But let's get into these minifigures. First, I'll start with kind of these gargoyles fall off so easily, by the way, on this little stand. But let's start with the probably the least important of the minifigures, in my opinion. And that's the let me zoom in for y'all. That's the boombox guy. I mean, he looks all right. Looks like the one from the movie. Got little Joker cards on his arm there. Nothing on this side. He does have a little boombox, as you can see there, that looks really cool. They've even got, like, texture for the, like, speakers. 
nothing on his legs or waist. He does have like a little Joker symbol on his breast, uh, on his left, his left breast, our right. You got a little dice there, like tie clip type deal. The back, nothing really special. Like, it's not like the greatest character. Like, you got the weird mustache and some sunglasses, but you know, he's nothing, nothing to like really write home about. Getting into the next figure, which I think is a really good figure, is the Joker. Now, he's got his top hat, his little press the lips there and you know it looks really good that's supposed to be like a a a uh, quill that he's got in his hand there got a little flower over his left breast pocket where his where his left breast pocket would be got a nice little bow tie there got some leg print and waist print he's also got this waist cape not too much detail on the back but you know, it got the little waist cape on there. Looks nice. Looks like, you know, coattails. So that's good. Got some gloves on. Top hat. Like, I mean, that's what he looks like without his top hat. So leave the top hat on. It looks kind of weird. But, yeah. Nice little figure. Like having that Joker. I just need the purple suit one now. And getting into, like, the coolest character out of this is the Michael Keaton Batman. Like, he's got that nice headpiece on. This is, like, all rubberized, so it's not going to break real easy. But it looks awesome. Got a battering there. He has the bat symbol there in the middle. Like, this thing looks really good. There's some also some back printing, as you can see the belt there. But I'm going to take his hood off, or his cowl, so you can see it. But not a lot on the front. I mean, it's... I like it for the cowl. I think this like custom molded piece here is really good or not i shouldn't say custom but exclusive to this minifigure and the the 1989 batmobile one i don't know if they're the same because i don't have that set i haven't really looked anything up on it yet because i plan on buying it and doing like a first impressions review like i do with most of these but there's his cow you know nothing nothing too like special about it it's just it's kind of cool that they rubberized it to make it look more authentic to the movie. And then, of course, you get the Michael Keaton Batman. He's got the white thing, the white strip over his face to give Batman the white eyes. And a little bit of chest printing there. As well as a second face with more of like an angry look and a little bit of back printing. Honestly, I think the Christian Bell Batman looks the best out of at least these two. Because I don't have the other one yet. But, or the other tumbler to say that that one looks better than the newer tumbler. But as far as the minifigures go, you get a decent selection. Like, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Like, I like them, and that's all that matters, in my opinion. If I like them, I don't. I mean, if you don't have the set and you're thinking about getting it, and you're getting it specifically for the minifigures, then I probably wouldn't get it. <laughs> but if you're getting it for the, the build and the minifigures, it's okay. Now here's your stand. It's the same as the um the tumbler or the new tumbler, I should say. You get the little buildable the brick built gargoyles and you know, nothing too special. The back is like nothing. It's supposed to be it makes more sense for this movie because this is like the end scene thing. Like with them on that building it doesn't make as much sense with the tumbler but i can see why they just kind of threw that one into the tumbler one to you know reuse parts that they are only really in in what this set and the 1989 batmobile set so i can see why they did it but let's get into the the batwing so as you can see zoomed in you can't it's it's massive this thing is absolutely huge it does have a little bit of wobble on the stand but if you put it in a place and leave it it kind of just sits Let's see if i can back the camera i can't even back the camera up enough the camera's about to fall off the table but let me get this off the stand and we will get into the build process or not really the build process but the 
talking about the Batwing. <laughs> so this thing is pretty well built. Like, I mean, I can shake this thing pretty hard and nothing falls off. Like, it's pretty strongly built. I can hold it by, well, that piece isn't actually latched on anywhere. This piece will fall off all the time. It goes on the front of the cockpit. It falls off on me constantly. It kind of just attaches right here at the front. And, like, see, I just put it on and it already popped back off. I, well, if I try to look at it and not the camera, now I can't get it to go back on. There we go. But it pops off all the time. But this thing is pretty well built other than that, which is supposed to just sit in this area. You can grab it here. You can grab it by the wings if you want to. I usually don't, but you can shake it from the wings as well. Like it's very, very well built. The bottom of it, which I'm going to try to twist it around and show you, is... That's the bottom. You got some landing gear. Underneath this is a massive amount of Technic. That little blue hole is where your, your stand goes. And this is actually how you mount it to the wall. You do have some little movable fins down here if you wanna push them. Well, that's the first time I've ever had that break off. But getting it back on, if you wanna you know, move them, you can. I just keep them like it's flying at like super speed or something, I don't know. But yeah, that's the first kind of look for you at the Batwing. I am going to do like I always do and set the Batwing out of the way and go to the stand. Stand, very well built, very strongly built stand. Like it's going to stay where you put it. But you got your information plaque. So this is the Batwing from 1989. Max speed is 1,406 miles per hour. Cruise speed is 796.6 miles per hour. The length is 18 feet 4 inches. The height is 6 feet with landing gear. The wingspan is 21 feet 4 inches. Its engines are two turbofan engines and its weapons are two side mounted machine guns or mini guns, I mean, with four wing mounted missile launchers. And then, of course, you get the bat wing there in gray and the bat man symbol up top as well i just hit my camera because i'm not having a lot of room to work around i need a bigger table guys i need a bigger table but yeah this thing is very well built i absolutely love the fact that it's well built and it allows you to put the bat wing on in two different like variations and i'll show that in a minute this is your cockpit since it fell off i'll go ahead and show it you got a little fin here that's usually where i pick it up from even though now now when i get everything on camera it always decides to break on me guys like every time never breaks until i get on camera but there's your little cockpit you got the dark tenant glass there simple little build nothing impressive really about the cockpit part moving on back to the bat wing you got some little i think these are supposed to be guns as well here i'm not sure really to be honest with them but there are your mini guns they do move you've got your missiles here they don't move these pieces also move the little fins here and these the little air brakes right here move on both sides okay. right here boom machine or the mini guns move missiles on this side don't move but these wings again do you can put them in different positions i just keep them up the front of this thing looks amazing the way they were able to capture like this little like the little bat <laughs> the bat uh, ears there like it looks really good got some little lights on it on both sides like i said this thing is absolutely amazingly huge and built like it's you can pretty much hold it from almost anywhere and it's not going anywhere I love the way they did like the stack design here and it actually has space in between each one. They also did that same kind of deal over here on the back side. You see how it like stacked up on both sides to give it some like, I don't know, like depth look, I guess is what you would say. Then you've got like another little fin here that doesn't really move, even though I think that is on a hinge joint. It just doesn't really move. It's 
kind of its own deal. These pieces here, I found them incredibly hard to put on while I was building, but they're really strong once you get them on and they look really good. These pieces here, I want to see if I can do this for the camera because I can't even remember where it is in here now, but these you can kind of pull out. They're attached by rubber bands, as you can see right there. But a neat little thing that they did, if I can find out exactly where it was in here, <laughs> is they took, there's a little disc. There it is. See the little disc there? I think it came in another like Batman set, but they reused the piece and it kind of just fits into a slot to hold everything kind of like flush. Like, so that was a neat little nod they did to an older Batman set giving it that little bat signal or the Batman insignia, like snot block, I guess is what you would call it. But moving to the inside, you do have a little, let's see, let me zoom in on that. You do have a little, of course, like I said, guys, everything breaks when I get it on camera for y'all. You do have a throttle here, which I think I just put back on wrong. So, Everything breaks when I get to showing it for you guys. Like, it, it never breaks until I get on camera. Like, I've never had a problem out of that before. And it is because I put it on wrong. That's why it broke. But there we go. So, moving back, you've got your throttle, I guess is what that's supposed to be. As well as another little switch or lever here for something. You've got your seat, which can kind of move. You've got a massive amount of stickers on the sides, there and there. And then, just focus. Let me see if I, what happens if I do that? Yep, that looks good. Then you've got like the actual like target from the movie with the Joker in the center there in sticker form with a few other stickers around that little centerpiece. So it's it looks good. Looks good the way they did that. Like I like it and that's pretty much it of the batwing i mean there's not a lot to it it is a big vehicle I and mean, they did get like the awesome way they did this piece here was just amazing with building it all of these were annoying when building it there's like 40 something of them that go on this side and the other side it's all like symmetrically built so if it's on one side it's probably on the other side but looks absolutely amazing now with the stand like i said the, the blue you see there is where the stand goes and because of the way you can kind of hold the bat wing you can kind of just flip it up and then stick the stand in and then rotate it back down which of course of course guys again everything breaks once i get it on camera nothing breaks until i get on camera and then you've kind of got like the downward flying angle going back to actually talking about the build. But if you want it to, to have it more at like a straight angle, you take the stand, flip it around to where the information plaque is going towards the front, stick it in your hole there. And now you've kind of got it flying at an upward angle putting everything back together so you can get like the true feel. I actually did forget something about this that I'll show you in a second. But yeah, now you got it flying at like an upwards angle. Looking pretty dope there. But I do have to take it back off the stand for one final thing because I definitely forgot it as I hit my camera again because it is super hard to control all of this at the same time. <laughs> with how big this is so as you can see here there's a sticker and getting it close for you it says the bat engine if you open this up you do get a little storage section with a couple little crowbars and that's actually what you use you'll take these crowbars and you'll pop the seat out and that's how you screw it into the wall then you put the seat back put the crowbars back you know all that good stuff and you're ready to go and mount it on the wall. But yeah, guys, um, like I said, that was the final piece of the Batwing that I can think of. I do display mine flying downward just because, dang, now you're really close 
forgot to zoom you back out flying downward just because where i store it at it's easier to see the the information plaque on it if i have it flying downwards and plus i feel like it's a little bit more stable on my table because this hits the table and and gives it like another point of connection but yeah guys that's gonna be it of the bat wing um gonna try to move it out of the way here so that it's not in completely in my way but yeah if you enjoy this video make sure you give it a like smash that like button for me you know it'll really help out my channel as well as consider subscribing that also will help out the channel i'm at 63 now so you know i'm i'm, I'm almost to I'm almost to 70 i guess closer to 70 than than zero so that's always a good thing so consider subscribing it'll also help out the channel a lot and and yeah i can't remember what else i oh thank you for watching <laughs> I kind of lost track of what I was trying to say there because I noticed that a piece right here, I don't know if y'all can see it on camera, kind of came up a little bit while I was moving it around, I guess. So I got distracted. ADHD sucks sometimes. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.